What's up guys, it's Jared the Tech Avenger here. Now, I know it's been a while since our last video, but we have a lot more planned for this channel. Though, I know why you're all here. You wanna see the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro and how these shooters compare. Now, this is not a review on the phone itself. This year, we wanted to focus on the biggest differentiator from last year's iPhone XS the camera. If you have any questions about the phone itself, you can feel free to message us on Twitter and Instagram or just leave a comment down below, we'll make sure to answer those for you. The format of this video will just be straight shots pulled from the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro and a couple comparisons with last year's model so you can see if it's a big enough difference to justify getting the latest from Apple. This video is also different in that we want your opinions on what you think of the camera. So after you check out our samples, give us your thoughts down below. Let's get into it.
Front facing camera on the <laughs> iPhone 11 Pro.
So, just testing out the front-facing camera with night mode. What is that noise? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We're downwind. Wind's going that way. Yeah. This is uh, low light with the video. 1080p, 60 frames per second. I guess you can kind of see stuff. All right guys, so I'm testing out the front facing camera with uh, my back facing the lighting and exposure is pretty damn good. Um, it looks <laughs> good. <laughs> hey guys, so we just finished a night of filming with the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro. Uh, it's actually pretty dark now, uh, but we have a lot of light coming through on both of these front facing cameras. Just testing out the stabilization, trying to see how that is. <laughs>
restless, so give me something to do. Yeah, I can't stay here because I need to dance. Jump, jump around and show them how I move. Just an accident way to do Guys, I hope you enjoyed these sample shots pulled from both the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro. We tried to do these tests keeping in mind how the average consumer would use it on a daily basis. And we were nothing but impressed. But with that being said, there are a couple things that we noticed. The iPhone 11 and the Pro are not all that different from each other, apart from the telephoto only found on the Pro. Not only that, but I feel like keeping my 10s from last year, just because the quality is pretty much on par with this year's model and only missing a couple features like wide angle and night mode. It's not a big enough difference to justify the switch. And that is the beauty of it. Last year's iPhone will give you the same overall experience in terms of software, but most people will find it more economically feasible to opt for the 10s, even in 2019. Now, if you're moving from an iPhone 6, a 7, or an 8, the features and the performance might be better appreciated than say coming from a 10 or a 10s. But enough about what I think, Let's hear you guys sound off in the comments down below. You can also catch us on Twitter and Instagram to keep the conversation going. Much love guys, I'm Jared the Techvenger. Don't forget, when it comes to tech, the Techvengers are there. We got your back. <laughs> <laughs>